Hi students, today we are doing questions and answers of Unit 3, Media and Society and the topic of the lesson is Social Media, its influence and control over people's lives. Students, please subscribe my channel so that you are always updated with any videos that I make. Okay, now turn to page 24 and students follow me. Ways with words. A. Find the words from the text that have the following meanings. A. A personal or corporate website channel. B. A job requiring expertise in a particular field, profession. C. A feeling of sadness is disappointment. D. Put under custody is detained. E. Found guilty is convicted. F. Breaking or disregarding rules or system, violating. G. Advantages and disadvantages is pros and cons. H. A non-statory monetary penalty is amercement. Let me repeat once more. A. Channel. B. Profession. C. Disappointment. D. Detained. E. Convicted. F. Violating. G. Pros and cons. And H. Amercement. Number B. Study the underlying phrases in the following sentences. I think you all know what phrases are. Phrases are two words. One is a verb and preposition. And the meaning of the phrase is used by the word. One is a very meaning. Unsa. This line me phrases one so the say think about think verb ho bhane about preposition hami lai phrases haru ko exact meaning tha hunu parcha ra tes lai proper sentence ma kasari use garne bhanne kura pani sikhnu parcha phrases ko exact meaning bujhyo bhane tes lai sentence ma properly use garna milcha just just say break bhane ko bhasnu ra into bhane ko bhitra tara break into bhane ko bhitra bhasnu haina ni feri break into bhane ko tala forera tes ghar ma lutne chodne athwa dakaiti garne uddeshya le yo kaam garincha esari yo phrase ko meaning tha bhaye pachi tes lai sentence ma use garna sakinchha yesterday at midnight Two thieves were trying to break into his house. Jaili pani phrases ko sentence banaunu bhanda pahile, tesko meaning zannu ekdam important huncha. Ra, edi tapai lai tesko exact meaning tha chai na bane, Google athwa dictionary ko help li na sakin cha. Kari pati, verb, ra pachari preposition. E dwe words aru mele ra phrases ban cha. Phrases ko ke examples aru, adapt to, Apply for, arrive at, comment on, escape from, worry about, agree with, involve in. Your phrases ko bishes ta ki ho banda kiri. Kune pani verb ko pasari binda binda prepositions ro lokaunda. Ti phrases ro ko ortha nae binda binda hi hunsa. Just a break into banda. Chori garni udeshale ghar phore ra tes bitra pasnu ho. अने ब्रेक अप बंदा कौसे सीता नाता अथवा संबंध तोड़नु हो तेस्ते ब्रेक आउट बनना ले कुने पनी वार झगड़ा महामारी अथवा रोग को शुरुआत हुनु हो तेस्ते द वार ब्रोक आउट द फाइट विल ब्रेक आउट एंड देन द पैंडेमिक ब्रोक आउट तब पहले इंग्लिश का रामरा लेख रचना हरु पढ़ता केरी is the phrases are to out home upon so any top I like the phrases are go meaning to have a bunny the police are jealous see that the articles are opposed no one so that are edit the phrases are go meaning to have a bunny the bunny they have lake of click keep on the cause a car on the good at to turn it up on a car on so they say the English could be the artillery at the bar edit the by English language run the song sick the time on so many कुने पनि ठाउँमा नयाँ फ्रेजेसहरु भेटाउने बित्तिकै त्यसको मिनिङ पत्ता लगाउन एकदम जरुरी छ यसरी तपाईले फ्रेजेसहरुको बारेमा बुझ्दै जानु भयो फ्रेजेसहरुलाई चिन्दै जानु भयो भने तपाई इंग्लिशमा स्ट्रङ हुँदै जानुहुन्छ 
रे सजील सित ती फ्रेजेस इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज बोलता या लेखता सजील सित प्रयोग कर सकू इस इंग्लिश में एक्सपोर्ट बन को निम्ति फ्रेजेस को ज्ञान एकदम इंपोर्टेंट यूजली द इंग्लिशमेन एंड एजुकेटेड पीपल आर यूज टू स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश यूजिंग लॉट्स अफ फ्रेजेस सो यू नीड टू हेव गुड नलेज अफ मेनी काइंड अफ फ्रेजेस हियर इन दिस लेसन सोशल मीडिया एक्सरसाइज बी दे हेव गिवन यू फोर्टी डिफरेंट फ्रेजेस to make sentences with so let me read uh, this paragraph about phrases first perhaps some people think about the media that makes them able to meet and communicate with people around the world when you want to listen to music or watch a music video from your favorite singer you can go to youtube these are prepositional verbs A prepositional verb is a combination of a verb and a preposition. It is simply a verb followed by a preposition. So, prepositional verb is equal to a verb plus preposition. Now, use the following prepositional verbs in sentences. I have made the sentences for you. After listening to my sentence, uh, still if you did not understand the meaning of it, then please use the dictionary or google for it okay students so let's begin one apologize to i would like to apologize to my teacher for not being able to submit my home assignment on time apologize means say sorry or to ask for forgiveness number two admire for He wants to admire for your great help during his stay at your place. Admire means to say thank you or or to be grateful for. Number 3 aim at. He was aiming at achieving good results in the upcoming SEE exams. Number 4 agree on. Did we agree on this way of getting our results? of our hard labor or did we agree on this method of making momos number 5 grow up they were growing up fast in that company number 6 separate from this result was quite separate from last years number 7 acquaint with as you know acquaint means to know someone well I want to acquaint with the people of that club. Number 8, believe in. I believe in God, so I am not afraid of facing any kinds of hardship in life. Number 9, adapt to. Can you adapt to my lifestyle? Number 10, apply for. You have to apply for this job. 11, arrive at. This way you can arrive at the right answer. Number 12 comment on can you comment on on this incident number 13 escape from i have to escape from this environment number 14 worry about don't worry about your family we shall take care of them number 15 agree with do you agree with us number 16 involve in i don't want to involve in this matter 17 devote to i am fully devoted to my family 18 pray for please do pray for my success 19 glance at glance means to see he glanced at his child 20 concentrate on kindly concentrate on your job if you want to move ahead in your life 21 recover from I could not recover from this tragedy in my life. Number 22, argue about. I don't want to argue about your personal matter. 23, change with. You have to change with time otherwise you will be left behind. 24, succeed in. How could you succeed in your studies when you had so much family problems? 25, refer to. I want to refer to that doctor 
for my cancer treatment. 26 scold for. Parents scold for our own good, so we should not mind it. 27. Look at. Look at your dress in the mirror. 28. Rely on. I rely on you for my personal security. 29. Resign from. He wants to resign from this job. 30. Boast about. Don't boast about your personal achievement. 31. Trust with. I don't have trust with that person. 32. Specialize in. He is going to specialize in medicine soon. 33. Reply to. I am not going to reply to his last letter. 34. Vote for. Vote for Balin if you want great development in your country. 35. Bring up. How did she bring up so many children all by herself? 36. Count on. You can count on me for completing that difficult task. 37. Suffer from. Do you suffer from common cold in winter season? 38. Dream about. Do they dream about this huge project? 39. Confuse with. Don't confuse yourself with her matter. And the last number, 40. Absorb in. I was highly absorbed in my work at that time. Now let's go to another section that is comprehension part. A. Fill in the gaps with appropriate words or phrases from the text. A. People are using social media for individual as well as communication purposes. B. Social media is not only a platform of sharing views, but also a platform of finding jobs. C. The hospital wanted Preeta to pay rupees 100 million for material losses. D. Some singers organized charity concert to help Preeta. E. The campaign to help Preeta was able to collect rupees 825 million. Now short answer questions. A. How do you define social media? Social media is a platform where the whole world can be brought into one place for updated knowledge facts and information as and when you need it due to social media we can learn whatever we want get an updated news from around the world and communicate with each other and express our thoughts and feelings to the world instantly that means quickly due to all these facilities social media has made our lives very very easy and exciting every day b social media has been an integral part of modern life how answer social media has been an integral part of modern life as for any kind of information knowledge or updated news we are completely based on social media our business profession entertainment is totally based on it on social media itself we communicate with the world express our viewpoints and feelings also through social media we are inspired and motivated in our life through social media because of it our lives have been so much easy meaningful and exciting so we cannot live without social media see why do people use Facebook and YouTube People use Facebook to get updated about how your near and dear ones are living their life. We know about their major events in life by the photos, videos and stories they upload every day. We also let the world know about ourselves and our lifestyle by doing the same. YouTube, some uploads videos in YouTube to promote themselves and to earn money. People watch videos in YouTubes to get inspired, motivated and others to get knowledge, facts, ideas about various things. Some watch news to get themselves updated of the latest happenings around the world. Number D. What is a blog? How can it be beneficial to us? A vlog 
BLOG is a regularly updated website or web page, typically one run by an individual or small group of people that is written in an informal or conversational style. They add a new material or regularly update a blog. It can be beneficial to us as we can always update it by adding new information. That way we are expressing our thoughts, ideas, knowledge, facts and opinions to others. Everyone involved or engaged in a vlog are informally communicating with each other and they get to learn so many things from each other without staying together. We become wise, knowledgeable, excited, we get influenced or motivated in our life. It helps us to solve our problems and take important decisions in our life. Whenever we face any problems in our life, we can get suggestions, advice, opinions and ideas from others. Exchange of ideas, opinions and viewpoints takes place in a vlog. Question E. Was Preeta's intention bad when she sent a message to her friends? Preeta's intention was not bad when she sent message about that hospital to her friends. She just wanted to inform them or aware and alert them about the bad services of that hospital. Number F, how did Preeta's message become a big problem? Preeta's message became a big problem when one of her friends shared that message to the whole world and made it viral. When that message became viral or when many people read that message, then that created a big problem in her life. Number G, why was she convicted by the court? She was convicted by the court as in September 2008, the management of the hospital reported Preeta Mulyasari for the bad news she had spread about the hospital. They said they had a material loss of about Rs 161 million as a replacement for classification in national newspapers and Rs 100 million for immaterial loss. In fact, she was convicted by the court for violating the law about using the ICT, Information and Communication Technology. Actually, it was not her fault at all. H. What was the purpose of the campaign Bant the Baskan Prita? The main purpose of the campaign Bant the Baskan Prita, which means help free Prita, was to help Prita by collecting the coins from everyone, including people on the street, offices, and even an entertainment center to pay the amusement. Question I, how are people stronger than social media? People are stronger than the social media. This is shown by Preeta's life experiences. Social media put her in a great trouble in life, but people knew that Preeta was innocent. So they collectively started a social campaign called Banta Bebaskan Preeta, which means help free Preeta. This campaign was able to collect coins uh, from people on the street, offices, and even an entertainment center. Thus, people were able to collect around rupees 825 million, which was more than her amusement amount. Thus, at last, people were able to set Preeta free. So, from this example, we can say that people have more power than the social media. Now, students, we have come to a critical thinking part. Question A. Does social media have positive impacts on the society? Discuss. There is another question in creative writing part whose answer would be the same. So, I would read this question as well. 
For this question also, the answer would be same. There are different schools of thought regarding the social media. Some people see the benefits while others see problems in them. What are your observations? Explain the advantages and disadvantages of the social media giving your position in it. Because we all know that everything in life has its pros and cons, that is advantages as well as disadvantages. So social media also, if it is used properly, it has a positive impact on the society. That is, it has lots of advantages for the society. And if it is misused, then its impacts on society are negative or it is disadvantageous for the society. Students, actually you have to do the critical thinking. So I'll give you five points for positive impact and five points for negative impact. Uh, the rest of the work you have to do yourself. It's just like uh, helping tips, all right? Yes, I think social media has positive impacts on the society due to the following reasons. Number one, we have easy access to social media. So we get all kinds of news, information, knowledge, message, and opinions of people so fast and so easily. So people are completely dependent on social media these days. One example of this is that whenever we experience an earthquake, we immediately open our mobile phone and go online to get further details of it. We trust on social media so much. Point number two, due to social media, it has been very easy to take decisions on anything in our life. We can get updated with the latest fashion trends. If we want to purchase a latest party gown for ourselves, with the help of media, we choose the right color, design, fabric, retailer outlet, and even compare and bargain prices online and get it home delivered at a reasonable price. Point number three, whenever we get sick, before visiting a doctor, we try to diagnose our disease, matching our symptoms with that we find in the media. Point number four, we can easily get the job we want through media. We email our recent CV with other details, our photos. It is easy for companies also to choose the right candidates through media. Point number five, our money, time and effort is saved due to media. Things are done quickly and efficiently like companies selling products and customers buying things they want online. These are all positive impacts or advantages of social media. Now the negative part. Point number one, sometimes wrong information is given on the media. We have no effective mechanism of controlling them. For example, sometimes we believe in fake news, which is designed to shape our minds accordingly. Point number two, we have heard from many people that making online purchases is not that satisfactory. The real products that we get online are quite different in their looks and quality than what is shown on media. So many people still hesitate to do online shopping. Point number three, as given in the lesson of this English book, media can ruin your name, fame and reputation in minutes. Wrong viral news can be very dangerous. Lots of propaganda and scandals are created to increase the TRP rate of movies, uh, famous actors, uh, actresses, singers, and leaders. This way, audiences and media users are duped and misguided. Point number four, cyberbullying is another bad side of media. Your personal details and your photographs can be distorted or redesigned to ruin your reputation. Fake photos and fake personal information can be a great mental harassment to the concerned person and his or her family. Media can show black horses as white and white horses as black. They can corrupt the information so much. 
So we should be careful when relying on the social media. Point number five, media if not used properly can land you up in a jail or it can even take your life away. So these are the negative impacts or disadvantages of social media. Question B is, how do you compare virtual communication and face-to-face -face communication? Here also, I shall give you five important points. Everything and every detail cannot be clarified in a virtual communication, whereas every details and your every doubts can be clarified in a face-to-face -face communication. Point number two, virtual communication cannot be private. There is always a risk factor. It can be very formal. Face-to-face -face communication can be very personal and private or informal also. Point number three, virtual communication somewhat lacks emotional touch and can be created and, and make believe. Whereas face-to-face -face communication is very natural and has an emotional touch because people are so close to each other. Point number four, in virtual communication, people can enact and pretend. So communication cannot be that clear and natural. Instead, they can have make-believe communications. For example, we pretend and sound like perfectly fine to our parents on phone calls, even if we are not well and having lots of body pain when we are sick. Whereas when we are in face-to-face uh, -face communication, people can easily read each other's faces, observe body language, and understand each other's true emotions and psychological feelings. So when our parents are just in front of us, we cannot lie to them that we are perfectly fine. They will know by looking at our physical condition. Point number five, in virtual communication, we can put on lots of makeup and present ourselves as beautiful people. We can present our fake self to the people. They will not even know or realize it. But this is not possible in a face-to-face -face communication. People will see with their eyes our real selves or our natural selves. So students, I have already answered question A of the creative writing which is same as question A of critical thinking. So let's go to question B. This is on page 26, okay? What is cyberbullying? What are its effects? How can it be stopped? The students, I would like to go detailly on this, giving you the information given by UNICEF. This is for every child and for everyone. Cyberbullying is bullying with the use of digital technologies. It can take place on social media, messaging platforms, gaming platforms, and mobile phones. It is a repeated behavior aimed at scaring, angering, or shaming those who are targeted. Some examples, spreading lies about or posting embarrassing photos or videos of someone on social media sending hurtful, abusive, or threatening messages, images, or videos uh, through messaging platforms. Next point, impersonating someone and sending mean messages to others on their behalf or through fake accounts. Face-to-face -face bullying and cyberbullying can often happen alongside each other, but cyberbullying leaves a digital footprint or record that can prove useful and provide evidence to help stop the abuse. So if you are facing any of this, keep your records safe. Don't delete them. You can take a screenshot of each and save them in a separate folder. If you are worried about your safety or something that has happened to you online, you can seek help by calling your national helpline like dialing 100 or straight away going to the police station to report your complaint. Or you can urgently speak to an adult you trust or seek professional support from trained and experienced carers. You can either talk to your parents, your brothers, sisters or your teacher. What are the effects of cyberbullying? When bullying happens online, it can feel as if you're being attacked everywhere, even inside your own home. 
it can seem like there is no escape. The effects can last a long time and affect a person in many ways, like mentally feeling upset, embarrassed, stupid, even afraid or angry, emotionally feeling ashamed or losing interest in the things you love, physically tired, loss of sleep or experiencing symptoms like stomach aches or headaches. The feeling of being laughed at or harassed by others can prevent people from speaking up or trying to deal with the problem. In extreme cases, cyberbullying can even lead to people taking their own lives. Cyberbullying can affect us in many ways, but these can be overcome and people can regain their confidence and health. How can cyberbullying affect your mental health? When you experience cyberbullying, you might start to feel ashamed, nervous, anxious, and insecure about what people say or think about you. This can lead to withdrawing from friends and family, negative thoughts and self-talk, feeling guilty about things you did or did not do, or feeling that you are being judged negatively, feeling lonely, overwhelmed, frequent headaches, nausea, or stomach aches are also common. You can lose your motivation to do the things that you usually enjoy doing and feel isolated from the people you love and trust. This can perpetuate negative feelings and thoughts, which can adversely affect your mental health and well-being. Skipping school is another common effect of cyberbullying and this can affect the mental health of young people who turn to substances like alcohol and drugs or violent behavior to deal with their psychological and physical pain. Talking to a friend, family member or school counselor you trust can be a first step to getting help. The effects of cyberbullying on mental health can vary depending on the medium through which it happens. For example, bullying through text messaging or through pictures or videos on social media platforms has proven to be very harmful for adolescents. If the bullying is happening on a social platform, consider blocking the bully and formally reporting their behavior on the platform itself. Social media companies are obligated to keep their users safe. For bullying to stop, it needs to be identified and reporting it is key. It can be helpful to collect evidence, text messages and screenshots of social media posts to show what's been going on. For bullying to stop, it needs to be identified and reporting it is the key. It can also help to show the bully that their behavior is unacceptable. If you are in immediate danger, then you should contact the police or emergency services in your country. Talk to your parents or elders without any hesitation. They will also help you in this. You might have this problem. I am experiencing cyberbullying, but I'm afraid to talk to my parents about it. How can I approach them? If you are experiencing cyberbullying, speaking to a trusted adult, someone you feel safe talking to, is one of the most important first steps you can take. Talking to parents isn't easy for everyone, but there are things you can do to help the conversation. Choose a time to talk when you know you have their full attention. Explain how serious the problem is for you. Remember, they might not be as familiar with technology as you are, so you might need to help them to understand what's happening. So explain to them detailly what has happened to you. They might not have instant answers for you, but they are likely to want to help and together you can find a solution. Two heads are always better than one. If you are still unsure about what to do, consider reaching out to the other trusted people. There are often more people who can who care about you and are willing to help you who care about you and are willing to help than you might think.
Another question might be, how can I help my friends report a case of cyberbullying, especially if they don't want to do it? Anyone can become a victim of cyberbullying. If you see this happening to someone you know, try to offer support. It is important to listen to your friend. Why don't they want to report being cyberbullied? How are they feeling? Let them know that they don't have to formally report anything, but it's crucial to talk to someone who might be able to help. Anyone can become a victim of cyberbullying. Remember, your friend may be feeling fragile. Be kind to them. Help them think through what they might say and to whom. Offer to go with them if they decide to report. Most importantly, remind them that you are there for them and you want to help. If your friend still does not want to report the incident, then support them in finding a trusted adult who can help them deal with the situation. Remember that in certain situations, the consequences of cyberbullying can be life-threatening. Doing nothing can leave the person feeling that everyone is against them or that nobody cares. Your words can make a difference. Another question, how do we stop cyberbullying without giving up access to the internet? Being online has so many benefits. However, like many things in life, it comes with risks that you need to protect against. If you experience cyberbullying, you may want to delete certain apps or stay offline for a while to give yourself time to recover. But getting off the internet is not a long-term solution. You did nothing wrong, so why should you be disadvantaged? It may even send the bullies the wrong signal, encouraging their unacceptable behavior. We need to be thoughtful about what we share or say that may hurt others. We all want cyberbullying to stop which is one of the reasons reporting cyberbullying is so important. But creating the internet we want goes beyond calling out bullying. We need to be thoughtful about what we share or say that may hurt others. We need to be kind to one another online and in real life. It's up to all of us. Another question, how do I prevent my personal information from being used to manipulate or humiliate me on social media? Think twice before posting or sharing anything on digital platforms. It may be online forever and could be used to harm you later. Don't give out personal details such as your address, telephone number or the name of your school. Learn about the privacy settings of your favorite social media apps. Here are some actions you can take on many of them. You can decide who can see your profile, send you direct messages or comment on your posts by adjusting your account privacy settings. You can report hurtful comments, messages, photos or videos and request they be removed. Besides unfriending, you can completely block people to stop them from seeing your profile or contacting you. You can also choose to have comments by certain people to appear only to them without completely blocking them. You can delete posts on your profile or hide them from specific people. On most of your favorite social media, people aren't notified when you block, restrict or report them. Another very important question, is there a punishment for cyberbullying? Most schools take bullying seriously and will take action against it. If you are being cyberbullied by other students, report it to your school. People who are victims of any form of violence, including bullying and cyberbullying, have a right to justice and to have the offender held accountable. Laws against bullying, particularly on cyberbullying, are relatively new and still do not exist everywhere. This is why many countries rely on other relevant laws, such as ones against harassment, to punish cyberbullies. 
In countries that have specific laws on cyberbullying, online behavior that deliberately causes serious emotional distress is seen as criminal activity. In some of these countries, victims of cyberbullying can speak protection, prohibit communication from a specified person and restrict the use of electronic devices used by that person for cyberbullying temporarily or permanently. However, it is important to remember that punishment is not always the most effective way to change the behavior of bullies. Sometimes focusing on repairing the harm and mending the relationship can be better. Another question, technology companies don't seem to care about online bullying and harassment. Are they being held responsible? Technology companies are increasingly paying attention to the issue of online bullying. Many of them are introducing ways to address it and better protect their users with new tools, guidance and ways to report online abuse. But it is true that more is needed. Many young people experience cyberbullying every day. Some face extreme forms of online abuse. Some have taken their own lives as a result. Technology companies have a responsibility to protect their users, especially children and young people. It is up to all of us to hold them accountable when they're not living up to these responsibilities. Am I being bullied online? How do you tell the difference between a joke and bullying? All friends joke around with each other, but sometimes it's hard to tell if someone is just having fun or trying to hurt you, especially online. Sometimes they'll laugh it off with a just kidding or don't take it so seriously. But if you feel hurt or think others are laughing at you instead of with you, then the joke has gone too far. If it continues even after you've asked the person to stop and you are still feeling upset about it, then this could be bullying. And when the bullying takes place online, it can result in unwanted attention from a wide range of people, including strangers. Wherever it may happen, if you are not happy about it, you should not have to stand for it. Call it what you will. If you feel bad and it doesn't stop, then it's worth getting help. Stopping cyber bullies is not just about calling out bullies. It's also about recognizing that everyone deserves respect online and in real life. Nowadays, many teenagers like you all seek answers to these questions about cyberbullying. These questions and answers to them are so important. We should be well acquainted with the right information in today's world. Thank you students, that's all for today. If you have any other questions, you can always write in that comment section. I will definitely get back to you all. Bye-bye and see you in our next class.